forcing thousands to evacuate and it's also causing a bit of panic there too. Well, there are a lot of different sorts of earthquake. It gets very close to the surface and doesn't erupt. Beneath the blazing Arizona sun and the parched sprawling desert, a secret stirs among sandstone outcrops and the silent sentinels of saguaro cacti. For generations, these landscapes have appeared immovable, the quiet surface belying the restless, powerful forces at work far below. But now, subtle signals are emerging, a mysterious movement beneath familiar terrain, barely perceptible at the surface, yet loaded with meaning for those who know how to read the language of the earth. Occasional small earthquakes ripple through the region, sending gentle tremors that go unnoticed by most residents. Each subtle quake becomes a whispered message from the planet's deep interior. What do these seismic hints really mean? Are they echoes of ancient upheavals or a fresh stirring beneath the desert's timeless quiet? As scientists train sensors on the area and begin decoding the signs, a possibility is taking shape. Arizona's volcanic heart, quiet for millennia, may not be as dormant as once believed. What lies beneath the desert's quiet facade and what might the next chapter hold? Are we witnessing a renewal of Arizona's volcanic field? An ancient force gathering for another dramatic act? Arizona's subterranean rift, unmasking the deep crustal mystery. Most who visit Arizona focus on the majesty of its surface, the sprawling Grand Canyon, the shifting colors of the painted desert, the echoes of ancient cliff dwellings. Yet few consider the drama unfolding miles below, deep beneath the surface. Here, science is opening a new window into geologic change. Recent investigations, made possible by seismic sensors and satellite-based deformation studies, reveal a subtle but persistent stretching deep beneath Arizona's volcanic field. This isn't the familiar movement of tectonic plates grinding past each other along Arizona's well-known fault lines, nor is it the persistent wearing down of stone through wind and rain. Instead, scientists are documenting a long, slow process, a stretching and pulling apart as the deep layers of the crust subtly shift. The crust is thinning, not in great leaps, evident to the naked eye, but millimeter by millimeter, as vast patient forces work in silence. To understand what's happening, researchers have deployed a web of delicate seismometers across the area. These instruments record every shudder and jolt beneath the rocks, however faint. Occasionally, these quakes are detected, too weak for human senses, but enough to attract attention from geologists. Clusters of these minor earthquakes have centered around Arizona's ancient volcanic field in the state's northern reaches. Close scrutiny of the data reveals an elongated zone where the crust shows signs of weakness, a rift slowly developing. Ground-based sensors hint at tiny vertical and horizontal movements, perhaps only measurable with scientific instruments, but significant in the geologic tale they tell. The region isn't being torn open rapidly, as on the world's largest rift systems, but it is evolving Rocks flex, minute cracks develop, and the crust, ever so gently, is reconfiguring itself underfoot. But what does it all mean for Arizona, whose significant eruptions faded long before recorded history? Is this unfolding rift a local geologic curiosity or a harbinger of something bigger? Scientists are only beginning to piece together these clues, but the story they reveal is one of a landscape still vibrant with subterranean processes. Why here and why now? Could this growing rift be linked to deeper earth forces? And might these signals point toward renewed volcanic activity? Or are we simply seeing the patient, ongoing evolution of a restless planet? The answers remain embedded for now in the subtle shifts beneath Arizona's burning sky. The long silence Arizona's forgotten volcanic field. To glimpse the future of Arizona's restless crust, we need to journey into its volcanic past. Page through the geological record of northern Arizona, and you'll find the footprints of fire, 
blackened cinder cone, ancient lava flows, and basalt ridges. These features speak of a time when this now quiet region wrote its story in fire and ash. Arizona's San Francisco volcanic field and others have been dormant for thousands of years. Their most recent eruptions, already ancient when the region's first peoples arrived, left stark reminders, fields of cinders, scattered craters, and soils enriched by minerals lifted from deep within the planet. These deposits speak to cataclysms that transformed entire landscapes, sometimes in days. For a long time, many believed that these volcanoes had spoken their last, resigned to a geological sleep, while other parts of the West, from Alaska's stormy peaks to Utah's dotted craters, continued to feel the stirrings of volcanic energy. New data, however, is rekindling scientific curiosity, subtle seismic signals, occasional clusters of minor tremors, and ground deformation suggest an underlying system that's not entirely dormant. The regional context is equally intriguing. Earlier this year, seismic unrest beneath Utah's ancient craters caught the attention of researchers. While there is no direct evidence connecting such activity to a chain reaction across the West, it hints at broader scale processes that may periodically activate regions that have lain quiet for centuries. On the largest scale, the mightiest volcanic eruptions in Earth's history have been linked to mantle plumes, vast columns of slowly rising, superheated rock ascending from deep within the mantle. Scientists know these features are responsible for dramatic volcanic provinces elsewhere, and over geologic timescales, such plumes may shift or evolve, feeding new bursts of activity. In Arizona, ground-based measurements and satellite imagery reveal tiny changes in elevation across patches of the volcanic field. In some spots, the crust appears to be rising ever so gently. In others, subtle ground deformation might reflect the stretching, thinning, or even the slow incursion of warmer material from below. While none of these signals confirm imminent volcanic activity, they offer tantalizing clues that the story of Arizona's fireborne landscape is not entirely over. Could these subtle changes mark the beginning of renewed volcanic evolution? Or will they fade, as so many have before, leaving the desert surface undisturbed for another succession of centuries? Regional Tectonic Unrest Patterns from the Pacific to the Desert To truly grasp the dynamics at work beneath Arizona and across the American West, it helps to look beyond state lines. Across the continent and out to the Pacific, scientists are tracking a mosaic of volcanic and seismic activity. Each event, though local in impact, forms part of a greater geologic rhythm. Out in the Pacific, far beneath the waves, the undersea axial seamount, less than 300 miles from Oregon, has captured the focus of volcanologists. This submarine volcano is among the most closely monitored on Earth. Its slow inflation and occasional eruptions offering critical data for forecasting models. Scientists expect Axial may erupt again in the near future, possibly providing real-time insights into how magma rises, fractures crust, and erupts. Elsewhere in the Pacific Basin, a lesser-known undersea volcano is also under scrutiny. Scientists believe this volcano may erupt in the next year or so, unleashing a flurry of seismic energy that might produce thousands of earthquakes within a single day. Such events provide rare glimpses into the processes that create new oceanic crust and drive volcanic activity. Meanwhile, further north, Alaska's Mount Spur has displayed significantly increased seismic activity. Each spike in tremors serves as a warning, even if an eruption is not considered imminent. History shows that clusters of quakes sometimes precede dramatic volcanic events, though frequently they return to baseline without further incident. Back in the American West, tremors rumbling beneath southern Utah's volcanic fields have raised new questions about the interconnectedness of activity in the region. While scientists do not claim that unrest in one location directly triggers eruptions in another, the temporal clustering of activity encourages a careful regional approach 
to monitoring and research. In Arizona's volcanic field, the persistence of small earthquakes and signals of minor ground deformation suggests that stress is accumulating deep in the crust. Each tremor contributes to a broader chorus, a sign of the land's ongoing responsiveness to deep-set pressures and ancient geologic rhythms. What ties all these distant patterns together? The slow and constant motion of tectonic plates, the deep upwelling of mantle material, and the inexorable forces that shape continents over millions of years. These processes, while rarely aligning to create simultaneous dramatic change, remind us that no landscape is truly isolated from the rest of the planet. Are these patterns mere coincidence, or do they constitute the early notes of a larger transformation taking shape deep beneath the Earth's crust? Only time and continued vigilance will tell. The Language of Earthquakes Interpreting Arizona's Signals For most Arizonans, the earthquakes that ripple through the state go unnoticed, silent, except to those with scientific tools attuned to their frequency. Occasionally, a faint vibration may cause a household object to tremble or an animal to act wary, but largely, life goes on unperturbed. Yet for researchers, these seismic whispers contain valuable information. Arizona's seismometers, GPS stations, and deformation sensors provide a near-continuous record of subtle crustal movements. Careful analysis reveals that the occasional small earthquakes continue to cluster along the boundaries of Arizona's ancient volcanic field. While none have been damaging, their persistence offers clues about subterranean chain. Most tremors are too faint to signal immediate hazards, but the clustering and frequency along with ground deformation detected in periodic satellite passes, raise important questions. Is magma rising slowly, reshaping ancient chambers? Are ground stresses from tectonic extension spreading through brittle rock? Not all the answers are clear, but the data assembled to date provide a window into slow, evolving geologic dynamics. When similar seismic clues have presented themselves in other volcanic systems, such as Alaska's Mount Spur, or Oregon Southern Fields, they sometimes preceded eruptions, though just as often, they faded away with no major event. The ongoing lava eruption elsewhere in the Pacific, begun in 2021, has proceeded with gradual advance into valleys and persistent small earthquakes, an instructive parallel for researchers studying Arizona's restless ground. The lesson is not one of imminent risk but rather of the importance of paying attention to patterns. A few related quakes might mean little, but persistent changes over months or years can indicate that deeper structures are shifting. In Arizona, this patient science, measuring, comparing, and interpreting, may help forecast what comes next long before human senses notice any change. It's a process of cautious observation, respectful of uncertainty, and aware of natural variability. Interpreting the language of earthquakes requires patience, expertise, and the willingness to adapt conclusions as new data emerges. Mantle plumes and crustal evolution, engines of change. What supplies the energy moving Arizona's crust today? Scientists look deep, beyond the outer layers, to the Earth's mantle, a place of intense, slow-moving convective currents. Among these, mantle plumes are perhaps the most dramatic. A mantle plume is an upwelling column of superheated material rising buoyantly from deeper within the earth, possibly from the boundary of the core itself. Where these plumes meet the underside of the crust, they can drive the formation of new volcanic provinces, as on mid-ocean ridges or beneath vast volcanic plateaus. Over immense stretches of time, the energy and material supplied by plumes help sculpt continents and oceans alike. Colossal volcanic eruptions on a scale that could have contributed to mass extinctions like the event that ended the age of the dinosaurs some 65 million years ago may have been fueled by such mantle processes. While nothing on this scale is believed to be occurring in the American Southwest at present, the slow rise of mantled material and periodic crustal rifting have certainly shaped the broader region. The visible traces of this deep geologic engine occur not just in massive eruptions, but in small, accumulating events. 
subtle ground stretching, persistent regional seismicity, and the appearance of new cracks and faults. In the context of Arizona's volcanic field, researchers consider whether an upwelling of warm mantle could be beneath the thinning crust, supplying heat and driving slow deformation. While evidence is circumstantial, the pattern matches theoretical models from volcanic regions elsewhere in the world. For Arizona, the prospect of renewed magmatic activity is not a prediction of disaster, but an illustration of ongoing geologic evolution. It may take years, decades, or even longer for such processes to culminate in surface change. The story is written at a geologic pace, a reminder that the Southwest is far from a finished landscape. Risks, revelations, and the road ahead. What might new volcanic activity in Arizona mean for the land and its people? The historical record provides clues. Past eruptions in the West have shaped valleys, redirected rivers, and created both challenges and ecological renewal. Yet such events are rare on a human timescale. The potential for future unrest compels scientists to intensify monitoring. Seismic instruments are supplemented by chemical sampling of groundwater, which can reveal subtle shifts in volcanic gases. Satellite observations provide additional data on minute ground level changes. All these efforts aim to differentiate between routine background activity and signs pointing to developing hazards. At what point do these signals warrant concern or public action? The science remains uncertain, for every volcanic system is different. The vast, mostly quiet Arizona volcanic field offers limited historical context for forecasting activity. Unlike the ongoing 2021 eruption elsewhere, where visible flows provide constant reminders of underlying energy, Arizona's field remains so far a land of subtle hints and incremental changes. The risk of any significant eruption in the near term may be low, but as scientific tools improve and knowledge accumulates, researchers can better prepare for the day when minor signals give way to more substantial unrest. Early warning and rapid response, tested by events around the world, remain the best strategy for safeguarding lives and property if patterns shift dramatically. A desert on the edge, waiting for the unseen. Arizona's deserts are landscapes of survival and adaptation, where stories are etched in stone and the echoes of ancient events persist long after the echoes fade. Now, beneath the apparent stillness, a new chapter may be beginning, shaped by forces unseen and largely unknown. The crust trembles very gently, the ground stretching ever so slightly along an evolving rift, each small earthquake a clue to deeper change. Above, life continues as it always has. Below, the Earth's rhythms continue to shape the future one patient step at a time. The possible reawakening of Arizona's volcanic field should be seen not as a threat, but as a vivid reminder of the planet's vitality and mystery. Buried beneath millennia of quiet, the field holds the potential both for geological excitement and for scientific discovery. Each new tremor, each shift in the ground, opens a tiny window onto processes that have shaped all landscapes, reminding us that beneath even the oldest mountains and quietest valleys, the earth remains dynamic. Have the ancient volcanoes spoken their last? Or could the signs of activity we see today be the start of something that, given enough time, might alter the face of Arizona again? The answer lies beneath the desert as scientists continue their vigilant watch. Join us as we track the changes, measure the movements, and explore the mysteries that link the fate of Arizona's land to events in distant oceans and deep within the earth. The story is evolving. The questions are as profound as ever. What else will the restless earth reveal? Stay tuned. The desert's greatest secrets may still lie ahead, waiting in patient silence beneath the sun-baked stones. As we listen for what comes next, let curiosity and careful science guide the way.